Hey there, welcome to The Simple Podcast. I'm Todd C. Slater, The Simple Investor. You know, the word of the week is power of sale. You know, one of the things that so many people are not understanding is what a power sale truly means. Now, when I was a realtor, you know, one of the things that I actually did was a lot of power sales for the major lending institutions. Now, back in the 90s and the early 2000s, this was kind of a common thing. A lot of people would turn around and you know what? Sometimes they got in too deep, they lose their jobs, they would turn around, had bad tenants, and their property would go power of sale. Now, one of the reasons why we didn't see it for the last 15 years is prices kept going up and it was easy to sell out of a home before it had to go you know, to a foreclosure. But a power of sale, just so you know, is not a deal. And this is a lot of things that a lot of people don't understand, especially here in Canada. We're not allowed to sell a property for what is outstanding on the loan. So we need that to be clear, okay? So if somebody calls up an agent and says, what is the outstanding amount on the loan? That's irrelevant. It's illegal actually for the lender to sell unless they sell at market value. So what's gonna happen to these power sales that come into the market? Well, look, they may stay there for a little while. They actually have to market them for a while. You can't just turn around and say, first day on the market, boom, you know, sold, unless you get multiple offers. So for those of you that are waiting, thinking that, hey, listen, a bunch of deals are gonna come up in the market because of a power sale, Again, don't hold your breath waiting because that's not how it works. They have to get the maximum dollar for the property. And by the way, if they get enough money and they can you know, take care of the actual debt itself, you know what happens? The person that lost the property, the power sale will get the rest of the money. So for those of you thinking power sales are a good deal, they're not, not here in Canada. You wanna get power sales, go down to the foreclosure stuff down in the US because they can actually sell it for less than the debt half the time. We can't do it here in Canada. It's just not the rules. So again, when I wrap this stuff up, I want people to understand when they're going into a marketplace, what they're gonna deal with. And by the way, a power of sale half the time is not gonna be in great shape. So you're kind of buying yourself a job. So if you or lose your house, do you, you know, go out and clean it on the way out? I've seen power sales in my career where they would take the toilet, the furnace, heck, they even took the screens off the houses. They were so pissed off. So if that's the case, are they truly a good deal? Probably not. So as we see a couple of these pop in, in the market, which we have, and again, it's more a natural market to see a couple of power sales come in, don't think it's a great deal. If you're looking for creating something for your future, your family, you know what? A real estate transaction is strictly a real estate transaction. Do your homework, make sure you do a condition report, make sure you know what you're buying. And again, today in today's market, you can put conditions in to protect you and your family. Listen, I'm gonna keep doing this stuff every single week. And if you have any questions or comments, hey, listen, make sure you leave them for me. Love to hear you know, what you have to say. And don't forget to subscribe. Again, power sales, are they thumbs up or thumbs down? Well, actually kind of neutral. They're not a good deal. And quite frankly, you have to sell them for market value.